Hi, this is David Fine with Keys Mods. Welcome to the Wacky Worm series. Today we are featuring a beauty of a moth. It's the Diva Moth. What a name is that? Hemorophilia Diva. You're not going to want to miss this one. Check it out. Hemophilia Diva is one of those moths that is a hidden gem uh, because of its small size. It's only uh, probably less than a half an inch wingspan from tip to tip. Uh, but boy, if this thing was two or three inches in wingspan, everybody in the world would know about it because Diva lives up to its name. Diva is Latin for goddess. <laughs> and this thing is looks like a goddess. It's got all the colors of the entire rainbow, on its wings with iridescent fashion. Incredible bug. Uh, again, small size, less than a half an inch. Uh, we'll start with the eyes. Even the eyes are cool. They're gr deep green coloration. The antennae have red and silver flecks in them. Uh, the thorax has this deep, really deep, pure silver coloration. Uh, four wings are have a, a pretty much of a matte color of uh, iridescent purple and blue. Uh, Kind of boring, right? <laughs> in the middle of the forewing is a bright golden band, and on the outer forewing, the outer margin, is a deep red band. Uh, you can look inside that forewing and find iridescent green and iridescent yellow. That's not a color we see very often in iridescence, but iridescent yellow in the diva wings. Hind wings are, are not iridescent, but they are a very deep, rich, reddish orange coloration with a black border. Uh, you flip it over, the legs are colorful, the underside is all that same deep reddish orange color. Beautiful, beautiful bug. It belongs to a group of moths called the Metal Mark Moths. And, and all the moths in that little group in South Florida, they're all ficus feeders. They feed on strangler figs. They're all gorgeous. So we've got more videos on those bugs coming out uh, shortly. Let's start with the caterpillars. They will, they're not picky on what they eat. They'll eat the new leaves on the new growth, or if a tree is sick and the leaves are kind of like, kind of like old and kind of hard, they'll even eat that stuff. So kind of an interesting scenario that uh, these things, what they'll do, the caterpillars will form a little silk housing on the underside of a leaf and they'll live underneath the silk housing and come out just to feed and they'll pupate in the same way. It looks a lot like a a little tiny spider or something like that. The first several times I saw one, I thought I was actually looking at a spider web, but it, it's actually housing for the diva caterpillar. They pupate underneath that uh, same thing, and again, pupa looks like a spider's web. Pretty cool thing. Adults, again, gorgeous bug. Uh, very, very common. In fact, they can be abundant in South Florida. They're diurnal in, in their uh, activity, but they very frequently come to black lights if you put a black light underneath a strangler fig tree, you're going to have Diva and probably some of the other metal mark moths uh, show up at your black light. So that's about all the time we have for today. Uh, we hope you check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we follow us there. We've got, we post all the time. Uh, we would love it if you subscribe to our channel. Uh, click the little bell. That'll get you notifications so that we can get you more videos just like these. We're going to share a lot about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Give us a like, share us with your friends, and until next time, enjoy South Florida and keep your eyes open for those little half-inch moths. Take care. <laughs>